McAfee Edge World. So we are talking about magnetism, and uh, we talked about the effect of a current carrying conductor that it produces around it. That is the magnetic field, and how a charged particle moves in a magnetic field, and uh, how forces act on a wire, things like this. Moving on, we'll learn about a few more things. First, I'm going to talk about magnetic flux. So, magnetic flux has the same concept as the electric flux, but instead, instead of the electric field, we have the magnetic field. So, think of it like this: if you have a magnetic field B, and there is an area like this, you know the area vector is perpendicular to the area. This. So the area vector is perpendicular to the area, and this is the magnetic field B. Magnetic field is making an angle theta with the area vector. So the magnetic flux passing through this region that would be flux is equal to B dot B dot, and this formula is applicable only when Magnetic field is uniform. Magnetic field is uniform. Otherwise, we have the formula where we integrate. The magnetic field is not uniform. That is P dot D. This is the general formula, and when magnetic field is uniform, we can apply this one. P dot D. So, varying magnetic field, uh, we are not going to talk about in this chapter. Varying magnetic field, we will be talking about in the next chapter. That is a uh, electromagnetism. So, this is the magnetic flux. Uh, we'll solve a few problems on uh, calculation of the magnetic flux. So, the square loop. The square loop does not have any current. Or it is not uh, take any current for now. Uh, when current comes and forces acts, it will not take that for now. This is a square of side A, and magnetic field is in the A. The value of magnetic field is B. The value of magnetic field is B. To find the magnetic flux in the following cases. So, as we have studied in electric field, flux is like the flow of water. So, we are basically calculating how much amount of flux is passing through, how much water is flowing, how much field is flowing through a region. Find the flux in the following cases. Magnetic field is uniform in each case, value is B. Write the answer in chat once done. So also for the first one is uh, B naught into A squared. Flux for this would be B naught into A squared. And uh, for this, it will be B naught into pi R squared. Here, uh, the area vector is perpendicular to the area. So means angle with the area vector is 30 degree. So in this case, the flux will be B naught pi R squared. And cos 30 or cos 60. So this will be root 3 by 2. And in this case, of course, uh, area vector is perpendicular. So angle is 90 degree. So again, it will be cos 90, the flux will be same. 
the flux in this case will be zero. Right. So uh, right now we are we we were just calculating flux. After this, uh, suppose I have a rectangular loop. I have a rectangular loop, and it is sides are given. The side is uh, call it L. The side is P, and the magnetic flux is like this. Sorry, magnetic field is like this. And current is given. Let us say current is given to the clockwise direction. Value of current is I. So what you have to do, find force on each R. Find force on each R. That is R, A, B, C. Question is find force on each hand. The, the value of magnetic field you can take it as P uh, naught. So along with the magnitude of the force, you also have to calculate the direction. the net force will be zero, right? The net force will be zero. Tell me the force on AP. Value of force on AP. Apura? That formula I forgot. Uh, force ka formula to I L B sine the type of thing. Okay. Magnetic field given uh, force ka karna current carrying karna. So I L cross B hota I L B sine the. Use that. Yes. Sir, I, B, B naught. I, B, B naught is correct. Direction kya over? Sir, up. Up. So. Then, what about force on B, C? I L B not. I L B not. Yeah. Direction. Right. Right. Force on C D. I B B not downwards. Yeah. So you have to put out cancel. And this one. I L B not left. Left. Ah, that's right. So left, right, or upward, downward, one again, sir. What if I ask you to calculate uh, torque on this one? Find uh, torque on this one. Forces calculate for the torque calculate.
मेहुल कैन यू टेल मी टॉर्क कितना आएगा If you want, you can uh, try to figure it out by taking uh, talk about center of mass. But किसी point के about talk में डालेंगे तो उतना ही आएगा. Let us find talk about center of mass. That is uh, the geometric center. Ah, uh, maybe you tell me the value of uh, the net talk. Sir, will it be I L B cross B not? I L B cross B not. Ah, uh, cross B not. So, let's say that I L B so cross B not. Ni ah uh, force nikal liya. Force ko humme multiply karna hai distance from the centers, right? So let us say ye wala force le liya. This the force on A B. Or the center of mass se R likhte hai. So ye R ho jaye. so torque for pehla wala force let me call it torque one that will be r cross f r cross f kitna aa jayega r or f parallel hai means sin theta zero hai means theta is zero hai so torque kitna aa jayega What will the value of what will be the value of dot? Sir, so magnitude to calculate, so R F sine theta can be written. What is sine theta? Sine theta is angle between R and F. So angle between R F R and F is zero degree. Now. So torque will be zero degree. Similarly, if we look at the force, then the force is outward direction. Force on PC is in the outward direction. which is center mass center of mass about r likhenge so r cross f again tau 2 is zero ho jayega similarly tau 2 tau 3 tau 4 sare forces ki wajah se net torque zero hi ho gaya so net torque ho jayega zero there is no torque on this so r vector kya hai r vector jis point pe force lag raha hai उस पॉइंट का पोजीशन वेक्टर है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सेंटर ऑफ मास ये हमारा सेंटर ऑफ मास है लाइक इट एज जी यहां से लेकर जिस पॉइंट पे फोर्स लग रहा है दैट इज आवर आर वेक्टर और टॉर्क से रिलेटेड कोई क्वेश्चन है तो आई कैन टेक सम टाइम टू एक्सप्लेन टॉर्क सर यहाँ पे वो क्यों नहीं यूज किया एम वेक्टर क्रॉस बी वेक्टर वाला फॉर्मूला वो हम वो हमें डिराइव करना है पहले तो मैंने बस बता दिया था कि ये होता है यूर गोइंग टू डिराइव दैट एक्चुअली ओके ठीक है मुझे लगता है अगर टॉल का क्लियर कट आइडिया है तो वो कर सकते हैं इस प्रॉब्लम में Uh, okay, let us take next question. Uh, next question, may we have the magnetic field from left to right? What uniform magnetic field will we get? And the loop is that is perpendicular to the field. Loop is perpendicular to the field. Like this. So, ये साइड P दे देते हैं, दिस साइड इस Q, R, S. बस इसको अगर सामने से देखा जाए तो मुझे लूप बस एक लाइन दिखेगा. बस एक लाइन दिखेगा ऐसे. जहाँ पे Q R पॉइंट यहाँ पे होगा. और पी और एस यहां पर
so you have to find force on each loop and then torque on each loop. Uh, force on each side and torque on each side then net force or net torque find force and torque on each side then find net torque and net force sir dono figure same hai na दोनों फिगर सेम ही है यू मीन दिस वाला और पहले वाला या ये दोनों फिगर ये दोनों हाँ ये दोनों सेम ही फिगर थोड़ा साइड से दिखाए कि पता चले पी क्यू आर एस एक टैंगल है ये वाला साइड एल ले लेते हैं ये वाला साइड बी ले लेते हैं या ये वाला साइड एल ले लेते हैं ये वाला साइड बी ले लेते फील्ड बी नॉट और इस लूप में करंट भी ऑफ कोर्स करंट की वैल्यू इज आई हरिश टल में दी फोर्स ऑन साइड पी की I L B not. I L B not. And direction will be. Like, yeah. That is into the plane. If I L B not. Ah, uh, force on this. Q R. I B B not. Yeah, that will be upward in the upward direction. Similarly, this force will be in this direction. I L B not. So this is exactly the same problem we did before in the previous page. Just different angles to take. So again, net force is zero. Net torque is zero. It's the same question. But what if, uh, what if I rotate this a bit? This palace's ka the orientation tha ye perpendicular tha, and in the next case we're going to rotate. So earlier it was like this, and in the next case we're going to rotate. So let me take this side like this. So P and S is this, Q and R is this, and this का जो area vector है, let me say the area vector is making angle theta with the magnetic. This is the area vector, or Can also be called the axis of the loop. N N dash is the axis of the loop. axis of loop is a, a, a perpendicular line passing through the center of mass of the loop. So axis of loop makes an angle theta with the horizontal. Now you have to find net force and then net torque. Same thing. Find net force. Her side is a net force, sir. And uh, her side is a net torque. Do that. Then there is no current. It's the same loop. It's the current we have, just like the previous one. 
सो पी क्यू पी क्यू वाले साइड से करेक्ट हो गया सॉरी एंड आर एस वाले साइड से नीचे वाले so anyone can tell me the force on this one force on side pq that will come out on this side and force on rs will be into the plane so these forces will cancel each other out so this is force on pq and this is force on rs they will cancel each other out one is out of the plane one is into the plane. this force is out of the plane so this force is into the plane this force is out of the plane what about the force qr and ps so what tell me the force on qr which what would be the direction of the force so the current goes inside into the plane yeah. so uh, in the previous class we were talk we were talking about the torque on a loop and agar koi ek current carrying loop perpendicular rakha hua hai magnetic field ke so net force is also zero and net torque is also zero the case that we were talking about that is when the loop is kept at, a, at an angle when the loop is kept at an angle so when this loop is kept at an angle so force on this side pq and rs is into the plane and out of the plane force is on pq is into the plane and out of the plane uh what uh, we need to discuss about here is force on side qr and force on side ps so force on side qr if you see uh the direction of the current is into the plane direction of current is into the plane and the magnetic field is along the x axis that is horizontal rupert can you tell me the direction of force current ka direction into the plane hai. so l ka direction into the plane and magnetic field ka direction rightward direction so f is equal to i l cross v force ka direction kya ho jayega current into the plane so right here current is into the plane current ka direction is into the plane and magnetic field is towards the left direction फोर्स का डायरेक्शन क्या हो जाएगा राइट साइड फर्स्ट वेक्टर द एल वेक्टर इज इन टू दिन एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज टूवर्ड्स द राइट सो एल क्रॉस पी करेंगे राइट हैंड रूल रूल यूज करेंगे तो क्या डायरेक्शन आएगा एल भी क्या डायरेक्शन होगा फोर्स का यहाँ पे करंट इन टू द्लेन है एंड मैग्नेटिक इन राइट वर्ड डायरेक्शन का सो जो फोर्स का डायरेक्शन हो जाएगा दैट विल बी इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन दिस इज फोर्स ऑन क्यू आर फोर्स ऑन क्यू आर इसका मैग्नेट्यूड लिखना चाहे तो दैट विल बी आई एल बी दैट विल बी आई एल बी एंड सिमिलरली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट फोर्स ऑन पी एस पीएस वाले सेक्शन पे करंट जो है आउट ऑफ द प्लेन डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट इज आउट ऑफ द प्लेन इज कमिंग आउट ऑफ द प्लेन और दैट इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एल फॉर्मुलाइज आई एल क्रॉस पी मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज टूवर्ड्स द राइट करंट इज कमिंग आउट ऑफ द प्लेन रिशिट कैन यू टेल मी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स ऑन पीएस डाउनवर्ड्स इज करंट सो वन ऑफ द फोर्स इज अपवर्ड्स एंड वन ऑफ द फोर्स इज डाउनवर्ड्स तो यहाँ पे नेट फोर्स अगेन जीरो हो गया 
net force again is zero. This value again, it will be I L. The magnitude will be I L. So force, net force is again zero because all forces, one is upwards, one is downwards, one is one is out of the plane, one is into the plane. So net force is again zero. So it's talk is loop may acceleration to new. But if I talk about the torque, torque about the center of mass. This point about the torque nikal na chalte. So this will be my R vector. This will be my R vector. From center to the center of mass about torque nikal pe, to this one. This will be my R vector. So, this is angle theta. Hai. So, this angle is theta. Over. So, I can say the angle between the R vector and force vector that is also theta. This angle is also theta. Or, in this case, mein, this will be your R vector. So, angle between the R vector and F vector. R vector or F vector to angle nikalne ke liye I have to put the tail of both vector at the same point. So angle between them again becomes angle is theta. So I can write torque due to force, this force. Let me call it tau one. That will be R cross F Q R. So that is R force on QR into sine theta. Achha, if you see closely, this is R. What is R? R is B by 2. This, this I should write it as capital B. Uh, and this side, if you take it as given a side here, this like, side B. As if the loop is like this. So this side is L, this side is P. So R key value will be P by 2 because your total side is P. So half of that will be P by 2. And force will be I, L, P. And uh, sine theta to sine theta. This is torque due to 1. And this is torque due to 2 will be R cross the force vector. Force vector is due to PS. So again, this will be R, F, R is sine theta. R value again, B by 2, F, R, S is I, L, B, and sine theta is sine theta. Uh, so let us see, uh, torque is clockwise or anti-clockwise. So is force ki wajah se, aap pull karenge to clockwise rotation. Is force ki wajah se bhi clockwise rotation. So both the forces, both the torques are clockwise. So total torque will be tau 1 plus tau 2. That would be B by 2. I will be sine theta plus I will be sine theta. So to go back to equal here, I will just multiply it by 2. So this gives me I L B B sine theta. So what is L B? L B is area of the Area of the room. So this becomes I A B sine theta. In a torque out there. I A kya out there. I A is our magnetic dipole. So I can write mu B is equal to sine theta. So mu of the defined kya yaha se mu becomes I A. Or yaha se kya to vector will accept. From here we get, get the formula for torque as mu cross torque formula is mu cross this is the derivation of the formula of torque on a current carrying group abhi ye formula derive kar liya to har bar mujhe uh, derive karne ki zarurat nahi hai different different cases ke like i can just directly use this okay. so uh, if anything is unclear then ask yahan pe this thing becomes complicated so we have to put some effort to, we have to put some effort to understand this. Or as I say, if you understand it, then we have to revise it again.
otherwise this uh, we forget we tend to forget these things you can note it down note it down पूरा अभी ज्वाइन किया क्या सर कैन यू रिपीट हाउ आर एस इज इक्वल टू बी बाय टू अच्छा हाँ उससे पहले ये वाला फोर्स समझ में आया फोर्स लग रहा है ऊपर और ये वाला फोर्स लग रहा है नीचे इस डेट लिया यस सर यस सर ओके सो मैंने जो लूप लिया था डेट लूप का डाइमेंशन ऊपर एल था एंड The length was L and this side was B. The force लग रहा है I L B. और R के center of mass से उस point पे जहाँ पे force लग रहा है. Center of mass से उस point पे जहाँ पे force लग रहा है. तो वो distance तो center of mass से यहाँ तक B by two हो जाएगा. Right? Yes. Sir. Okay. Or कोई doubt? No sir. Okay, note it down and tell me. आगे बढ़ते हैं फिर इसके बाद. क्या बोलूँ? I think last time हमने जो notation use किया that is m, ना? So I'll write m. M vector that is magnetic dipole moment is M cross B dot is M cross B. Sir, on tau two we are taking force of P S right? Yeah, tau two we force P S का लिया है. Done sir. तो यहाँ पे हम देख सकते हैं तो फॉर्मूला फॉर टॉर्क ऑन अ करेंट कैरिंग करेंट कैरिंग लूप इन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सर राइट इट फॉर मी टॉर्क ऑन अ करेंट कैरिंग लूप इन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड स्पेसिफिक इट्स अ यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक And this concept becomes very useful. You form magnetic field. So torque is the value of here. That is I A P sine theta. So what is I? I is the current. A is the area of loop. Current. A is area of loop. P is the magnetic field. P is the magnetic field, external magnetic field. Right here, external. Current carrying by the wire is generated. Then there is theta. Theta is angle between axis of loop. This comes called the direction of uh, the area vector. Angle between axis of loop and Magnetic field. And if there are n turns in a loop, if there are n turns, then we can modify this formula. And we can write n here. So formula for torque becomes n i a b sine theta. Or in other form, we can write in the vector form, torque is equal to m cross b. Where m vector is n i a vector. So I'll give you a question as homework. Hydrogen atom पढ़ा हुआ है क्या? Question? Chemistry में hydrogen atom complete हो गया? Okay. Yes or no? आवाज़ बहुत धीरे आ रही है, या? हाँ, सर, यार, ऑडिबल ना? या या, यार ऑडिबल
नॉट स्टडीड ट्वेल्थ में नहीं ओके ओके तो इसका क्वेश्चन देखो I'll just tell you how to solve it in without the variable. So, if I have to find magnetic moment, find magnetic moment of electron in hydrogen of electron in hydrogen. So, Bohr's theory say जो आप पढ़ेंगे बाद में modern physics we will study. From Bohr's theory, we know the radius, we know the radius, and we know the velocity, that is speed of the electron. So from there we can calculate uh, the current and the uh, area also. So if I want to calculate magnetic moment, so number of turns that is only one. You want to find current. And uh, area, area of the loop will be just pi r square. And if you want to find current, current is will be ki ek second me kitni baar rotate karta hai, right? So current will be charge upon ek, मतलब ek rotation me one electronic charge that takes let us say time t. So time t kya ho jayega? That is two pi r by For one rotation, I put it here. This becomes E V by two pi r, and I can put it here, and this will be E V by pi r into pi r square. So pi r pi r cancel. This becomes E V r by two. So magnetic moment becomes. Of an electron in hydrogen atom is E V R by two. Magnetic moment. Now we'll do this again in hydrogen atom. Well, about modern physics, we just do. Well, electro time mix. After morning, after we'll start with modern physics, and there we'll study on these things. Okay, next uh, topic uh, that will be. Known as moving coil galvanometer, and अब इस कलर आज जो भी पढ़ रहे थे, that is preparation for this topic. And it is very important topic for board exams. Many students face difficulty in understanding this. So moving coil galvanometer start करने से पहले, I will just uh, give you another concept on. so this concept is about a spring so normal spring lete hain so ek spring liya usko compress kiya x se it got compressed it by displacement x then you have to apply a force which is proportional to negative of displacement The spring force is proportional to negative of displacement, so F is equal to minus k x. Minus is still is still written here because if I have displaced x this direction, then the force of spring will be on this direction. Force of spring will be on this direction. Force of spring. This force of spring. If I try to extend the spring, then the spring will try to pull. Then the spring will try to pull. So this is a normal spring. The normal spring, and next uh, a thing which is called a torsional spring. Torsional spring. So torsional spring का एक मतलब basic example देता होगा. Uh, you must have seen seen those uh, like single rope वाले जो swings होते हैं. There's a there is a single rope pulley swing, and uh, then you have a seat on the bottom. So some kids like to do like to do this. Everybody like to do this because they will just uh, uh, rotate this swing as a, and after they release the uh, force, 
the swing just keep on spinning like this. The swing is tied to a rope, and when you rotate, rotate it, uh, the spring, uh, the sorry, the rope becomes wound up, rope, a little wound up, and when you release it, the swing starts rotating, and it's really fun for kids. So that is that uh, rotation is called torsion. That rotation is called torsion. Or uh, दूसरे भी मैं understand करे तो take a rod, rubber का rod लेते हैं और उसका एक end fix कर देते हैं. Let us suppose this end is fixed. ऊपर वाला end fix कर दिया and it is a the rod has a length sufficient length and uh, to measure something i'm going to draw a line which is perpendicular which is along the axis you know surface pe like along the axis parallel to the axis so i've drawn a line this is a cylindrical rod this is a cylindrical rod now what i'm going to do uh, this portion is fixed you can say that isko left wale hand se hold kar liya isko left wale hand se hold kar liya and then you're holding this end you're holding this end b and you're trying to twist it you're trying to twist it so when you twist it what you'll get here is that the straight line that was a uh, uh, parallel to the axis before now it will make some angle with this with its original position line will not be straight so the layers of this cylinder they will get a bit rotate a bit rotate and this angle of twisting is called theta that is called angle of twist it is called angle of twist and twist is basically your called torsion or Torque, torque applied. You have to apply torque because you are rotating something. You are twisting something, so you are applying torque. And what we find here is that uh, torque is proportional to the, means the jo inside wala torque hota hai. Torque that is applied to the cylinder, that is proportional to the negative of the twisting angle of twist. And this torque becomes equal to minus of some constant into the. Tell me if this is clear. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, Nupur, Mehul, tell me if this is clear. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, Mehul, you joined late. I'll just I'll give you the lecture recording later. But for now, अभी तक हमने इतना proof किया है कि torque on a current carrying loop is n i a p sine theta. This is the formula that we are going to use. Ask, I'll just put me a message on to upload a the video. Okay, so so torsion spring is this. Now we are going to apply both the concept. First concept was the torque apply करते जब current carrying loop पे in a uniform magnetic field the value that value of the torque is n i a p sin theta and uh, when you twist a rod then torque is proportional to negative of c theta what is this torque this is internal torque means you have applied an external torque so to balance that out there should be an external there should be an internal torque otherwise ye ghumta hi rahega so because of the external torque There is an external twist. There is an internal torque to balance it. That is anti-clockwise. That is the anti-clockwise direction. So theta was in this direction. So your internal torque will be in this direction. Anti-clockwise. Now, now we'll go to moving coil galvanometer. So I'll draw a simple diagram first. 
So what I have here is a cylindrical rod, but a bit different. It's not a rod. We don't need a heavy rod for this purpose. A single wire can do it. So we take a rod or a wire and this is attached. This is attached. The lower side to a drum. A cylinder. And on this cylinder, all in on this cylinder, there is a winding of wires. And of course, if you do this, uh, do winding on a cylinder, it will appear as a rectangular loop. It will appear as a rectangular loop. So here we have a coil of wire. This is your rectangular loop. This is torque. And to produce the magnetic field, we have permanent magnets here. I'll have the north on this side and south on this side. So that will create a magnetic field in this region. Meaning that this part, this is the torsion head about which twisting will occur and this is a phosphor rod wire then the cylindrical frame on which wire is found Besides this, we have the arrangement to measure the torque. So while I draw a cylinder, I can draw a torsional spring, single wire to twist over it. Okay. So I can write this as a spring. This is your torsional spring. So you can say that the current in the loop is coming from here and it is exiting here. So we have this two terminals of the we call it T1 uh, here and T2 here. And uh, this wires, this number of turns will be insulated from each other. So there will be current in this rectangular loop. So what is happening here? This is coil of wire, coil of conducting wire. Copper is used as a good conductor and not that expensive compared to silver. Now see, because this is this uh, is in a magnetic field, we will have a torque on the loop that will be equal to n i a b sine theta. And this torque will be balanced by torque inside the spring, torsional spring. And thus we can write this some constant C into the angle theta that this loop makes with the axis. And because the torques must be balanced, then we have to write that C theta should be equal to N I A B. This is also theta. So let me write this as phi. C phi. And from here, what I can write here is the value of current that will be C phi by N I A B sine theta. Now C, C is called torsional constant. 
that can be that is already a property of y so that we already know n number of loops ye bhi pata hota hai uh value of uh, area that is a physical property usko we measure kar sakte hain magnetic field because magnetic field humne externally given is externally given so that also we can measure and uh, sin theta we take a value which we don't need to measure we don't need to measure so everything here is known aur yahan pe jo variable hai that is phi the variable is phi and because the variable is phi we say means uh, that current is directly proportional to phi and also c upon nib nab that is known that is known so sin theta go sin theta we need it approximately equal to 1 so we keep theta approximately close to 90 degree bahut zyada twisting na ho to theta will be close to 90 degree so torque abhi bhi apply hoga but uh, sin theta ki value mein zyada change nahi aayega from here we get that current is directly proportional to the angle of twist current directly proportional to the angle of twist and this all complicated things we do just to measure the value of current directly proportional to angle of twist and this is a very convenient method very convenient method because ye device bahut hi chote uh, shape mein aata hai chote size mein aata hai and this device is called a galvanometer so the coil move kar raha hai so moving coil galvanometer so galvanometer is basically a device which detects current because a current carrying loop is placed inside a magnet is placed inside a magnet so we can write current is proportional to some constant times phi that is the principle of the moving coil galvanometer i can write the value of k k will be just equal to c upon n a b okay okay let's note this down uh pichla wala page note kar liya tha kya anybody missed it nahi sir thoda baaki tha aaj ha thoda na to mujhe hota this much What is phi? I current the flow. Current measure करना है. Let's so take it. And phi. अच्छा phi. Phi is the angle of twist. यहाँ पे जैसे आह ये theta angle से twist हुआ था ना. इसको fix कर दिया तो ये theta angle से twist हुआ था. So that is theta. That is called angle of twist. This is called angle of twist. Yeah, first is the rotation or fixed points. So that will be angle of twist. So what can we do? Because if we are in fixed, the other side we can put some gears and all. Put put some gears and all. 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 और जब मैं जब कोई भी करंट पास नहीं हो रहा तो लेटेस्ट ये जीरो एम्पियर पे शो कर रहा है जीरो एम्पियर पे शो कर रहा है लेटेस्ट से इसको कैलिब्रेट कर दिया सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एम्पियर तक मैं चेक कर सकता सो लाइक दिस जैसे जैसे फाइव बढ़ेगा तो ये ट्विस्टिंग की वजह से ये पॉइंटर का डायरेक्शन चेंज होगा एंड इट कैन मेजर कर लूप विद मैग्नेटिक 
theta is the angle of the loop with the magnetic field. This plan is theta. Magnetic field ka direction. Uh, is the cylinder agar mujhe draw karna hai, so cylinder upper se aisa dekhte kari. Yes, sir. So, and this. Uh, so, pointer wali this we can uh, on the bottom of the cylinder, we can connect some gear. And uh, just as a phi, padega, just as a current, padega, as a phi, padega. if phi is increasing, this pointer will uh, point in with greater angle. And uh, we can do some calibration. And such so that uh, when point of one ampere current passes, then this. Pointer shows on point one. If you increase the current, uh, this uh, phi will increase. So gear ki wajah se amplify ho jayega, and it will show in at point one. So this is how a galvanometer works. This is how a galvanometer works. The angle of twist is, twist is directly proportional to the current, and that property we can use to measure. There are some characteristics of a galvanometer. First thing, which is called, is the current sensitivity. Sensitivity. That is called angle of twist per unit current, phi by i. Phi by i is just n a b by c. This is current sensitivity. And we want to define it. This is the deflection, current sensitivity is deflection produced in the galvanometer per unit of current. Per unit of current. So, the more the twisting will be, the more sensitive will be the galvanometer. The more the twisting, more is the phi, more is the deflection, and more will be the current sensitivity. So, uh, the sense galvanometer is more, more sensitive, means it can measure smaller currents. And then we define voltage sensitivity. So we have V is equal to IR. So to define voltage sensitivity, with sensitivity, we need to calculate phi by V. So that will be N A B by C R. Okay, you can just put I is equal to V upon R here. And this is voltage sensitivity. And it means it is defined the same way. It is deflection produced in calorimeter per unit of voltage. Now, as I have told earlier in the current electricity chapter, in depicting everything is a galvanometer. And we can convert galvanometer to ammeter and galvanometer to amp, uh, voltmeter. So, to convert a galvanometer into ammeter, what we do is we want to reduce the, the because ammeter is connected in parallel. We want to reduce its resistance. We want to re reduce its resistance, then you should shunt a small, very small resistance in parallel. Shunt a small resistance in parallel. In parallel to galvanometer. Shunting is connecting in parallel. Connecting in parallel. And uh, voltmeter, we don't want any current to pass through voltmeter. Both come current jana, uh, jana voltmeters. So to convert galvanometer into voltmeter, we want its resistance to be very high. So galvanometer to voltmeter, 
we have to add resistance, add high resistance in back. In series, in series. Series may Jada Wale say we put Jada resistance, power is one resistance. So this we have already started, so I'm not going to details. Thank you.